Hi tech friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have the unboxing of this Watch 9 Pro. It comes straight from Kiwi Time Store. It comes with local storage, Bluetooth headset connection, the new OS 10, and much more. Please don't forget the buying link will be down in the description below. And if you like the video, hit that like button and let's get started. When we remove the cover, we will see the smartwatch, the user manual right here. It comes in Chinese and English, of course a pair of uh, silicone straps, but you can choose different choices from the store. The charger cable type A on one side and the charging station for the smartwatch on the other. And finally, we have the smartwatch. Here we have it closely. If we go around, this is how it will look. Let's uh, remove the protector right here. There we go. You can see it has uh, round corners all around the smartwatch. On the right side we come with the crown. It is real smooth to turn. It has that red circle that makes it look real nice. The microphone right in the center. That second button right on the bottom. From the back we will come with the wireless charging interface and sensor. Of course we come with lock straps. And on the left side we have the slot for the speaker. If we go ahead and take the measurements 48.5 millimeters yes it is a big smartwatch on this other side we come with 41 millimeters and its thickness is 13.3 uh, about its weight 39.8 grams here we have it as you see it has that uh, apple watch shape design now let's go ahead and try the straps that come in the box we just slide in yep they go perfectly now this other one is sliding yep i think you might could hear the click they are very well secure and won't go nowhere now to pull it out we just press and slide out really easy to do let me try a, a different pair i bought this one right here especially for this smartwatch let's go from this side yep they go just perfect now this other one, yep, definitely they go real nice on the smartwatch. To power on the device, we just press the crown and hold on it for a second. There we go, it's loading. And that is the first watch face we will see. If we put our hand on it, yes, we come with that feature that if you want to turn off the screen right away, you just put your hand on it. But we don't come with the feature that you touch on the screen and this one bright up. If we turn the crown this way, nothing will happen if you do it uh, like this. One, two, one, two. It won't do anything, but if you do a long turn like this, it will get in this new interface. Of course, from here, if you touch, it will open any of the apps you had available. If you go all the way down, you can uh, go to all apps or swipe your finger one more time and it will take you straight to the apps. If you go all the way to the bottom and uh, touch on list view, you will have it on list mode. Now, something pretty cool about this is that if you come from the app, you will be able to change the background of the apps menu. It will give you seven different options, but from here you can touch and you can select any picture from your gallery. Now we crop it and uh, go all the way down and install it into you the can smartwatch. get in there too sliding your finger like this and go all the way to the bottom do it one more time now let's go on list view and you can clearly see how we got customized background like i said you can use any picture from your gallery so to change the watch face you will have to touch on the screen hold on it and as you see we'll come with four different ones this one right here it is the one with the compass feature of course you will be able to add one more from the app we're gonna count with a lot by the way and some uh, of them are pretty cool or you can use a mini album on the smartwatch too up to five pictures every single time you touch on it you will switch between all five of them or you can use a gif as a watch face from top to bottom you can check your notifications we come with this from top to bottom you can check your notifications we come with the split screen but on to top i already show you we have this new interface and from right to left we come with the widget 
from here you can activate or deactivate the ones you don't need or reorganize them now going back to its player something cool is that you will be able to change the background too from the app you can choose a different color or a picture from your gallery but not only that if you touch right here on those three dots you can choose between the different play mode you can control the music playing on your smartphone you can uh, use the local music yes it comes with storage built in so you will be able to add music to the smartwatch or you can connect your Bluetooth headset. Yes, you just touch right here and it will start looking for new devices. So you can uh, carry your favorite music in the smartwatch and connect it to the Bluetooth headset to enjoy it even more. If we press the crown, we get into the apps menu. We press it twice real quick and it will switch between all six different styles that we'll offer you. From main screen, you press and hold and it will call the voice assistant. Of course, it will wake up the one that you have set on your smartphone. From main screen, you press the crown twice. It will take you straight to the apps uh, open in the background. You can close one by one sliding like this or you can go all the way to the bottom and come back to the apps menu. Now, the second button right here, when you press it, it will take you straight to the shortcuts panel, but you can change it from setting if you want to open a different app. It's customizable. It will give you a lot of options where to choose from, and you can edit this too. If there's some apps you want to add, you can go ahead and do it, or if you don't want some uh, to show up, you can delete them too. In this case, we can add uh, the voice recorder. Yes, we can with it and the GPS tracking for some sports when you finish just go all the way down and hit done now if I go right here there we have them now if you ask yourself what is this feature right here it will be the history record and these three sports uh, running outdoor walking and bike the smartwatch can give you GPS tracking. Of course, it will have to be paired with the app because it will use the GPS on your smartphone. Now, let me go to the apps and pass it like this real quick. You can pause the video if you want or if you need to. There we go. If we go to settings, uh, all the information, even the picture that you have on your app, it will show it right here. On notification you can choose that the screen bright up when you receive a notification vibrate or uh, uh, just a tone because we count with tones uh, you can make some other adjustments like the do not disturb time brightness we count with real good brightness right here you can turn on the always on display keep in mind that this will be on its pointer you can turn on the Smart Island and screen time, talking about the main watch face. You can go from 5 seconds to maximum of 1 minute. Now, if we go back, you can see the Island is already activated. If we turn off the screen, that will be the pointer. It will remain on all the time. This is how it will look. From settings, you will be able to make some other adjustments from like sound and touch. You can change the volume for calls, media. If you don't want the, your smartphone media sound on the smartwatch, you just turn off this feature right here. Select the, the ringtone for the calls. You will have four different to choose from. Notifications, you have four tones where to choose from two. And same way for alarms. You can add a password to protect your information too. Key definition. As I told you, you can change which app to open when you press the bottom button right here and some other adjustments. Now from the app, you will be able to play some uh, games. You can download some others to the smartwatch too. Select uh, which apps you want to receive the notifications from. Activate some health reminder. Add alarms, frequent contacts, uh, ebooks, your uh, music, you can add it from here. And you will be able to check your recordings from the smartwatch straight from the app. Now, in case uh, that you receive a notification with the screen off, uh, it will bright up, it will give you your uh, tone that you select on the smartwatch. You could see the banner. If you had the Iceland off, it will show you a red dot right there on top. That means that you had notification that you haven't read. All you got to do is slide down and you will have it right here. Once you touch on it, go back. You see the red dot is gone right here, but on the main screen also. Now, if the Iceland is on, you can see a green dot because we don't have notifications on read right now. But when we receive one, there we go. 
Now the green dot turns red because we had this notification that we haven't read. If we touch on it, let's go back. The red dot right here is gone, but also on the main screen. And if someone calls you, you will be able to hang up, answer the call. It will give you your contact name and finally hang up. Now about the Iceland, sadly at this moment this smartwatch only supports to give you uh, your music titles that you playing on the phone or on the smartwatch. I hope they can add more features in the future, but sadly for now it's all it can do. And perfect to finish this video, let's uh, see how it will look on our wrist. There we have it, it looks real nice. You know, to be at 48 something millimeters, it has a real slim bezels. Definitely, it has a huge screen. And well, tech friends, with that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next video.